it's been a minute. Have been a well, we've been making videos, just haven't uploaded anything because we're all over the place with whatever we we're doing. That still hasn't been installed. That's coming soon, or that might already be in the car by the time the video comes out. Who the heck knows? But we're gonna focus on something that uh, has been bugging me and people have been making fun of me for, and it's the center console. It needs to go. It needs to be replaced. Uh, I want to replace the radio and put something cool in there. Um, it's been done so many times, so it's not going to be anything new. I'm just going to put like a tablet right there so it could be my head unit. Um, this center console is absolutely trashed. It was already cracked. And because I have, I'm kind of tall, so I have kind of a, my legs widen up a bit when I'm driving. And I ended up breaking all this with time so this has been ongoing breaking slowly and slowly but it's finally gotten to the point where it's completely trashed so i started taking it apart shift knobs out all that is out and it's time to replace it i took this off of a b7 so like from the ranges from what is it 2005 to 2009 or 10 or something like that 2008 i don't know um cup holders B6s didn't come with cup holders in the US, I think. So we finally have somewhere to put our cups. The Germans don't want us to have drinks in our cars and now we will. All right, so this is the game plan. Center console, tablet. I have uh, something that I have to order, which is gonna be the radio unit. That's gonna give life to the tablet so it can connect to all the Audi systems and stuff. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description and when it gets here, I'll film it and show you guys what it is. But that is going to be put in the glove compartment and then it's going to link up to this and this is going to be my head unit. Um, but it is a brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S Lite. Um, I didn't really want this tablet. I asked uh, my electronics guy to find me a, you know, an eight-inch tablet because I wanted it to to fit in right here, and uh, like eight inches is perfect. Oh, hello, little spider. Bye, little spider. Uh, eight inches is perfect. I could have just put a magnet behind the tablet, and it just would have snapped into place right here. But he decided to find me the biggest tablet that he could. So this is a little bit bigger than eight inches. Um, I've seen other videos where people just, uh, just trim a little slot right here in this space and right here, and that takes care of that issue. And it's still, it's still magnetic and you just slide it in and then a magnet will just hold it in place. So that's the game plan. Uh, I want to be real careful with cutting this. I kind of don't want to cut it at all or slot it in any way. So the goal is to try to get the tablet in here without cutting anything. So I have to measure some stuff out. The only thing, because it tapers coming down, I think I have to go, oh, where's, where are these bugs coming from? I might have to slot a little bit of this bottom part so it can slide in, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But other than that, I don't wanna cut at all because I kinda wanna keep it pristine. It's old, it's got some dings on it but it still looks good. All right, so we're gonna do this in in two steps. Uh, I'm not gonna get the other radio that I spoke about earlier yet. Um, I'm gonna be using this radio temporarily uh, with the cord just to control volume and stuff and just to link it to this radio. So uh, I haven't installed the center console yet for the head unit and for the radio, um, but I'm going to do that Eventually, I, I went to go get the hooks from my uncle. Shout out to Angel. He uh, got me the hooks. I need to remove the radio. I'm going to take the radio out. Um, I've seen people uh, that remove the face of the radio and they just throw it back into the cavity behind the radio because there's like an open cavity back there where there's just nothing. It's just space. And then I've seen other people that take the whole two din head unit and just put it in the glove compartment, or, you know, so we might do one or the other or a combination of both. Who knows? Um, but I'll, I'll show you guys how I do it in the first part. And then the second part, when we get the new radio, I'll just eliminate this completely. But 
I got the keys in. I'm going to take this radio out. I'm going to start taking some dimensions. I want to take this out and I want to take the climate control unit out uh, because I need to see. I need to put this climate control unit on the other center console to see where my measurements are going to be at and just to play with stuff. Because, um, of course, like I said earlier, the uh, the tablet is kind of big, like it's massive. So uh, I I've been thinking about eliminating these buttons up here. There's only two ESP and this and putting them somewhere hidden down here where the coins are or the coin dispenser is or uh, keeping them there, but moving the tablet down and it's going to cover the climate control unit a little bit. I, I don't know. We're, I'm, I'm going to play around with it and then I'll show you guys what the solution I came to. So once the key's in here, uh, it's pretty easy to take this out. You just prying it on the sides a little bit with a flathead or something and it should move and then once it gets out far enough you could just pull the whole thing out and this thing is massive so radio's out look at that big boy um looks like someone was fidgeting back here probably a previous owner there's a lot of cut and spliced wires i don't like seeing that because a lot of the times if someone does it themselves and they don't know what they're doing. They're not going to do it the right way. And that could lead to a fire. And which if fire is no good. That doesn't look safe. But. I mean it is what it is. So this is a really rough mock. Of what it would be. Of course I'm using the fact that this is broken. Just to fit it in there. It's not slotted or anything in there yet. Um, but it does cover which is what I was afraid of, that it was gonna cover, it doesn't cover a lot of it, but it does cover a bit of the climate control unit, like, which is not really that bad. It's not, hold on, let's, let's turn these lights on just to see how much it covers up. It would just cover those buttons, those two. So it might be okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking in my head what would be the best route because I want it to look clean. I don't want it to look all messed up and like it was half done. I'm still contemplating getting rid of this whole thing right here. So this could just come in and tuck in flush. Um, and I think the only thing that would... I might just do that. I might just get rid of this whole button thing up here and move these buttons dead down here to the bottom. We'll see. So I'm gonna start beginning the process of taking this thing apart. The this I'm gonna see if I can remove it by tonight. Uh, let me get some lights on in here. It's starting to get dark. And then on the third day, God said, "Let there be light." Um, there's a bunch of eight bolts. It's pretty consistent. Eight bolts. There's a T20 right here that holds the the emergency brake to the center console itself. Uh, there's a 13 for the armrest and everything there's eight. So there's there's two right here, two right here, hidden right here, uh, some hidden down that way, one on each side. And then down there there's one, down here there's one. And after all that stuff is out, surprisingly this thing comes out really easily. When I got that one out of the junkyard, it just, man, it popped out it's super easy. So it was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, it, well, as soon as I took the last three bolts out to get this thing, this thing was cracked all over the place and it came out in three different pieces. So that's what it needs to look like. And then this is what it looks like. This is the original. So that's finally out. I'm going to put this one in, mock it up, um, start playing with the buttons that I might need to relocate and start playing with the, the position of the tablet. Got rid of all the buttons and stuff right here. This is really simple to take out. I thought it was gonna be really complicated. It's really not. So I think now we have enough space um, that I won't cover the climate control unit. We have all this area to play around with, which I think is the most exact, perfect amount of area for the tablet. Um, I'm gonna relocate the ESP button and the hazard button. I'm gonna put it down here somewhere in like a cool little off and on switch panel. I was gonna kind of leave this till tomorrow, but I kind of 
got a little excited. Uh, I decided to put in the new center console, which I did. Cup holders. We finally have functioning cup holders. Forget all that up here cup holder stuff and it falling and what your drink. Oh my God. If you're an Audi owner, an Audi A4, B6 owner, you or B5 and B6, I believe. But the B6, you know, any cup in here, anything will fall. As soon as you accelerate, everything just poof, comes over this way. So I got my measurement. This is about as far as I'm coming down. It's almost lined up perfectly with the climate control unit. No, you light don't do that. Come back up. Give me the light. So it's going to be about right there. Uh, so I'm going to take this whole thing out again now that I got my measurement, how far it needs to come down. I'm going to follow the natural line that it is right there. I'm going to do some taping and then I'm just going to have at it with some cutting. Uh, I made the slots on the side on each side and I slid it in there. And this is the final placement for the tablet. So I'm going to start installing this. You guys can get a better view of it. But this is what it looks like so far. There is this thing in its almost its final form and it looks freaking cool. To me it looks freaking cool. Um, this wire is kind of hanging out from underneath it. I flipped the tablet. Um, so the power and the volume are right here. Um, it has a wireless charger that I have just right now temporarily taped to the back. So I'll be able to figure out all that wireless charging stuff uh, later and how to control all that stuff. I have a uh, macro droid, so um, you can use macro droid to set it up to when it uh, it's oh, it'll always go into sleep mode. And then as soon as the car turns on, it will wake up and come to this screen, which will it'll be a clock or whatever. And then from here, you can, you know, delegate whatever you want. So like. I, I kind of want to use this for, you know, like for Torque Pro and, you know, to have my gauges and, you know, a bunch of other, you know, miscellaneous gauges and stuff, RPM, Boost PSI, intake, IATs, you know, AFRs, you know, all this stuff. So this was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted it. Um, but this is what, this is what I'm, this is what I got done. So, so I kind of wanted to get like a daytime video of how everything looked and how like the final setup was going to kind of look how clean everything ended up being it's a little off but it's not that bad um i'm going to take it apart real quick and just do a little time lapse showing you guys how it looks from behind so it really doesn't take that long to uh put this thing together or install this um, I have, uh, I didn't want a plug coming out of, uh, of this side, so I just got a flush charger, um, and I have a wireless charger back here. This is kind of rudimentary, um, I have to make another way to hold this back here, but this is just a wireless receiver, and then this is just a wireless charger that just, like, uh, that's just holding them two together so that when this starts receiving charge, uh, the wireless charger starts getting a charge and then the whole thing charges. Um, I have a cord back here in the in the crevice behind where the radio used to sit um, that plugs into the back of the wireless charger and the lights up green kind of see it and then all I do is I tuck that into the back a little bit and see it's already taking a charge uh, I have slots on both sides. I push this into the right side slot and then it slides into the other side and then I kind of align it a little bit because it's it's off like it's to the it's a little bit to the left but that's fine. Uh, I could push it over a little bit more later um, but this tablet the tab 6 like fits perfectly in the space right here so there's literally enough space for the climate control unit and enough space for there's enough space for it to tuck in behind this top part right here so after I get all that in there um, it's charging 
uh, I can access it whenever it's kind of I didn't leave it charging last night so it's at a it's at a one percent uh, later at the end of the video I'll show it on and in menus and stuff um, but for the last part it's just putting the last final piece of trim I got to get this silver trim and fitting that side on and that side in and that's it and just leaving it clean like that so that's how it ends up looking that's again the side slot on that side it, it auto rotates to the right dimension and it turned off because it doesn't have any power that's fine um so hopefully i got more sun and you guys can see it turned on and we'll get a cool little thumbnail so this is the final product really really clean screen just the way i wanted it something i can use with gauges and play music off of and once i get the radio in that's what i'm going to do with it um i could like i said earlier so i could put a sim card in there and so i could get the gps and stuff working on this thing as well and um yeah tell me what you guys think this is a little car app just to mimic a little infotainment menu but it's like a simple clock and you add apps to that panel just so you could pull different things up if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments if you like what you see hit the like button sub up let me know what you guys think